Okay, it's beer bottle day. day. We're going to bottle some beer. So we're got our empty bottles there. We're going over to the dish pan with soapy water to wash the bottles. Scrub them good with the brush. From there, we take them over to the sink and rinse them well. And get all the old beer out of there, which we hopefully have got most of while we drink, and rinse the bottles after we empty them. From there, we go to the sterilizing bucket and we sterilize the bottles. They are to stay in the, there for a little bit and get rinsed off. And this is a no rinse uh, bottle washer, so dump it back out. And once we dump it out, then we take it and we set it into the drying rack and allow them to uh, start drying. Uh, they don't need to be completely dry, but uh, drying uh, don't hurt them a whole lot. So that's our first stage today. So we're ready to bottle. Our beer is, is done fermenting. We're going to go ahead and take a specific gravity reading to see what kind of alcohol level we have in our beer. Uh, then we're going to transfer it over into our stainless steel bottling bucket. We'll need to uh, cap the bottles off so we've got our sterilized caps, our capper. And we also are going to add honey, one cup of honey and one cup of water to the uh, little pan and add that to the bottom of our bottling bucket and that will give us our carbonation when we uh, bottle our beer. So let's get this started. Okay, the one cup of honey and water in the small saucepan being stirred, get all the little lumps out of it and now we add it to our bottling bucket. And when we set up and siphon from our carboy up here, we're going to siphon it down into this and it'll automatically mix together to give us a good mixture and, and no stirring or anything like that is necessary. It, it does well just pumping it in. So that's that stage. Now we'll set up our uh, siphon to siphon off and leave any sediment that might be down here at the bottom. We don't want to pick any of that up. So we'll set our siphon up to stay off of that. Okay. We've set up our pump and it's a simple little pump and it starts the flow into our bucket and this just takes a couple of minutes and that'll have us filled up with uh, some Bruxel Black beer. Okay, we've set up the bucket with our beer in it and off of that we come down and we've set up all our bottles ready to go with our auto bottle filler. To and make sure when you start the siphon that that's depressed at the bottom so that it'll flow through. So then it's a simple process of giving it a quick pump up there and it's filling. So once he gets that filled, you see the bottle filling up. When it gets to the top of the bottle, He'll pick it up off the bottom and it'll fill the bottle perfectly and he just simply goes to the next one. Once he gets that accomplished, he'll pass those bottles over to me and I've got my bottle capper set up and all my bottle caps ready to go. And we'll show you how to cap a bottle and then we'll place them in the case to set for a couple of weeks before we actually can drink them. So we're about two, two weeks from drinking. Okay, so we're gonna cap these. We'll set the caps on top of the bottles. And the bottle capper, set it on it, twist it, pump it down. That one's done, we set it in the box. And the next one. And with the five gallon batch, we'll do this uh, approximately 48 times. So we'll have two cases ready to be put in the closet for a couple of weeks. And that's the bottling process.